Hey all, it's Bulletproof here. Today we're going to be looking at some aerobatic maneuvers. Now if you've been playing in the other modes, War Thunder, perhaps the Arcade or Realism, most of this would have been done by mouse movements and perhaps by a few keyboard strokes. Makes it fairly simple, but in simulation mode, you're going to have to be doing this with a joystick or whatever else you're using. You're going to be using more of a simulation flight model. So the first one we're going to tackle is the basic aileron roll. This is basically just rolling the aircraft around the axis. Do this, do it heavy handed just by jamming the stick all the way to left or right. It brings the aircraft around. You're going to lose a little bit of pitch. As you can see the nose is kind of going down. Go ahead and come back up to upright. So that's the heavy handed way of doing it. It's not using any rudder. It's not keeping the aircraft coordinated. If you're not experienced in using the rudder, that might be the way for you. If you are a little bit experienced using the rudder, you're going to put a little bit of rudder in towards the, the way that you're rolling. So if I'm going to be rolling left here, I'm going to put in a bit of left rudder. Let's see how this one changes up the way that we're rolling by using that rudder. So here we go. Rolling left, a little bit of left rudder. See, we didn't have quite as much of a nose drop, at least on that first roll. We're actually going a little bit faster on the roll rate. And take it all out at the same time, nice and smooth, for the exit. Keeping the aircraft nice and corded, you're going to retain your energy, your forward speed, a little bit better, as long as the physics are modded right, more thunder. So next movement we're going to be tackling will be the loop. So here we go, setting up our loop. We've got to make sure that we have enough airspeed to do this, otherwise we're going to stall out at the top. Generally not a good thing to do when you're in a battle situation, especially. So once you have enough speed, you're basically just going to pull the aircraft straight over the top. Look for the horizon coming. Keep rolling it straight. You hear that noise, that's the aircraft right on the edge of stalling out. Generally don't want to get too close to that. Let off just a little bit on the back stick pressure. So once you start stalling out, especially in maneuver, you're gonna put the aircraft into a spin. You lose a lot of your energy very fast. Make it nice and easy for the bandit to shoot you down. So that you there you go, that is a loop. This next maneuver we're gonna try is called the barrel roll. Let's get one thing straight first off. The barrel roll is what we're about to do, the previous maneuver, or one of the previous maneuvers was the aileron roll, not the barrel roll. The barrel roll, you are actually going to be moving your nose around a center point. It's not going to be just maneuvering the aircraft on its axis like that. So we're going to do this in, in, in an actual game situation. You're not really going to care whether or not you're actually making a perfect barrel roll around a point, but for the sake of showing you a barrel roll, we'll kind of try to do that. It's going to be a great maneuver for just throwing off the aim of the guy behind you. It's not really going to help you change your position on him. You're not going to, it's not going to throw him from your 6 o'clock to him being on your 12 o'clock, but it's going to at least let you survive a little longer, a little more time for some of your friendlies to come help you out. So we're basically going to start going up into the air and rotating around and using that peak right there kind of as a point, just a general point. As you can see, I'm kind of trying to keep it in the same spot, keep it not moving. I'm using actually a little bit of the reference point of my propeller right there. So that's kind of a basic barrel roll. As I said, the wider it is, the less rate of change of movement that you're going to have is going to be a little easier for him to line up his shot if you're too wide. But if you're too short, if you're making your barrel roll around too small of an axis, and it's going to do kind of the same thing. It's just going to shoot in the middle of you. The next move we're going to try is the, called the split S. This is going to be initiated by a half aileron roll. Make ourselves upside down, and then we're going to pull straight through the bottom. It's going to take about 1,500 feet to do this maneuver. However, depending on what aircraft you're in, how fast you're going, and how hard you're pulling, that's going to change how much altitude that you need to pull this off. So as I said, that half aileron roll, to go inverted, go straight through the bottom, look at that horizon coming up, 
Went off just a little bit on that backsteam pressure since we got close to stalling out the aircraft, putting it into a spin, and right back up to wings level again. So that is your split S move. It changes your direction of movement. Perhaps someone was going the other way. Get on their tail quickly. The last maneuver we're going to use for basic aerobatic maneuvers is called the Edelman. The Edelman is basically the opposite of the split S. This is using the vertical axis again. But it's going over the top and rather than the bottom. The half aileron roll is going to happen at the end of the maneuver. This is a great maneuver to use if you have more energy than the guy behind you. It's going to, if he follows you through the top, it's going to wind up with both of you losing some of your speed and trading for a little bit of altitude. If you have more energy, it's going to deprive him of that much needed energy and hopefully put you on top. So here we go. Straight up, right over the top. Look for that horizon coming around. Stop the pitch. Roll back, wings level. And there you go. That's a very basic element maneuver. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped. I hope this gives you some more options to use in simulation battles to put yourself on the six of that bandit. Happy hunting.